We're looking good. Uh, Jack turns back again. Coming up on the tree. Vehicle reports entry interface. At this time, it'll begin pressurizing the propulsion system to increase the thrust of the system. Uh, we'll use that for all the maneuvering in the atmosphere we're about to do. Back copy, Jones. We are standing by for guided start and the start of guided entry. <laughs> Nav can see the entry in the atmosphere in the Doppler. We are beginning to feel the atmosphere uh, as we go in here. The vehicle is just reported via tones that it has started guided entry. At this time, the vehicle is needing to steer its way to the target. That is starting its first tank reversal. First tank reversal complete. We have seen peak deceleration. We have passed through peak heating and peak deceleration. Uh, it is reporting that we are seeing G's on the order of uh, 11 to 12 Earth G's. Flight GDSA. GDSA flight, go. We are processing data from Odyssey. Tank reversal 2 is starting. We are now getting telemetry from Odyssey. Tank right. reversal 2 complete. <laughs> Copy tank reversal 2 complete. Thanks. Standby flight. We have a connection, but we actually do not have any data yet. Copy. We can expect some intermittent contact at this time as the uh, signal gets there increases to yeah, respectable level. There we go. We now seeing and we have RTDP. Yeah. Okay, copy. To and visualization is updated. The adventure heading alignment. There we go. At this time, curiosity is no longer trying to control how far it's flying downrange and is just heading directly for the target. Oh, End of range control, air used, minus 1.2 kilometers. Minus 1.2. 1.2. Oh, the EL team is reporting that uh, we are, uh, that things look pretty good at the end of range control. We have controlled, we have converged uh, a lot of the air and we should be heading toward the target. Fly EDL, TDS warning is okay. Happy? Power on. We are seeing a tone from the one uh, indicating that we uh, have seen uh, we have seen heating on the heat shield uh, through the BEVD instrument. Uh, everything looks fine. This is as expected. During the setting alignment phase, we're flying almost horizontally like a plane. We're going about Mach 2.4 at an altitude of 17 kilometers or so. <laughs> Way better. <laughs> 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 reporting heartbeat tones again, uh, indicating that everything is fine during heading alignments. Uh, we are standing by for straighten up and flight right and parachute deploy. <laughs> Vehicles continuing to decelerate. We're down to about Mach 2. As a reminder, we should have parachute deploy around Mach 1.7. We're at 15 kilometers altitude. We've begun entry balance mass jettison. The predicted mid downrange is 1.597 kilometers. EDL ops, Odyssey systems on EDL ops. Parachute deploy. Parachute. <laughs> Thrusters have been re-enabled. Uh, we will control our attitude on shoot. We are decelerating. Oh. Risk mode under our parachute. Our parachute accelerating and, and descending. We are at 150 meters per second. 
Dynamics phase. Come back again with uh, wrist mode dynamics. Wrist mode is nominal. We are not monitors and descending. Keep active. Solid range. That filter converged with a velocity correction of 0.7 meters a second. We've acquired the ground with the radar. Now to the 8 kilometers. Feet shield step has separated. We've found the ground. Expand tones. Do the earth occultation as expected. We're using by to prime the Emily engines in preparation for power flight. We're down to 90 meters per second at an altitude of 6.5 kilometers in descending. <laughs> Flight EDL, we got some Tweedo warnings. <laughs> it is in battle short mode, so I should power through them. Director of communications at this time. We may have lost it already. We're down to 86 meters per second at an altitude of 4 kilometers in descending. We've lost act we've lost tones from Earth at this time. This is expected. Uh, we're continuing on Odyssey telemetry. Ground solution equals minus 10.8 meters. Vertical velocity of minus 80. We are priming eight target meters per second. second. Start enabled. Standing by for batch cell separation. Signal Odyssey is still strong. We are in powered flight. Yeah. We're at an altitude of one kilometer descending, about 70 meters per second. Signal to us, you need to down to 50 meters per second. 500 meters in altitude. Standing by for sky crane. Constant velocity accordion nominal, altitude error 5.9 meters. We found a nice flat place. We're coming in ready for sky crane. Down to 10 meters per second. 40 meters altitude. Sky crane has started. Descending at about 0.75 meters per second as expected. Expecting bridal cut shortly. Take a loss. You remain strong. Tango Delta nominal. Oh. Yeah, uh, you do a calm configure. Airview stable. Airview stable. Airview stable. Airview stable. Airview is good. Yes. Touchdown confirmed. We're safe on live. from curiosity. We're safe. Getting data from the surface of Mars. As cam sequence is kicked off, waiting for images. Heads up, folks. PL Ops, the signal to Odyssey remains strong. Flight EDL, images are starting to come down. We're beginning to get images. Right, we got images from coming down, folks. We do a comp configure set. Stand by for images. We have thumbnails images. coming down. Odyssey data is still strong. Odyssey data is very strong. Odyssey is nice and high in the sky. At this time, we're standing by for images. The thumbnails are complete. We got thumbnails. Poland is complete. Oh, 
It's the wheel. There we go. We can see a wheel. We are wheels down on Mars. Oh my God. We'll do a proper hug on the other side. Keep watching, guys. Keep watching the stream. There's more stuff. Any minute now. No. 2.56. Okay, we're Okay. So here we are. We're going to start. Go ahead. Okay. So we have landed. We landed at the time we thought we would. And we now have our first image. We have our first image. Um, this we've got is a 64 by 64 thumbnail. The front, a rear has cam image. You can see the shadow there. Um, I'm, I'm not sure exactly which our orientation is of the vehicle, but uh, we're looking through it. In a few, I think in a, just a few minutes we might get even a, a, two, a, a larger 250 to 256 uh, frame uh, 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 pixel image um, of that same same end. So we're looking at the shadow. See, the horizon is actually in the distance. You can't really tell that. So we're looking actually at the shadow of this late afternoon sun. Uh, and uh, uh, so these are the rear house cams. These are the rear house cams. And, and it so does have a dust cover on it. It does course. have a dust cover, but it's the dust that covers the problem. It's the fact there's dust in the air because we have just blown dust all over the place with our descent engines. Fantastic. So there could be more. There could be more. If we get, if we wait, we might get, oh yeah! Ah! This is the high risk, this is a 256 by 256 image. This is a higher resolution. You've seen dust particles on the window. Uh, you can see the horizon there in the background. And there is, there is the wheel of the rover safely on the surface of Mars. I can't believe it. This is unbelievable. We might get another one of these, and if we're lucky, before Odyssey goes away, we'll get two more of these same injuries going the other side of the vehicle, and also probably dusty. This is amazing. So that is one of Curiosity's rover wheels yes, exactly. on the surface of Mars. Yes. Whoa, wow, wow. We, now we have another, it's another image coming down. This is a view looking the other direction. There's still, it's still being processed. You'll see it in just a second here. It's another, this is a, another thumbnail image. Is that a shadow? That's the shadow of the of rover. Curiosity rover on the surface of Mars. The Odyssey transition is about to end. Uh, it's about to set below the peak of Mount Sharp very shortly. Uh, so this is about all the data we're going to get, but things look great. Congratulations. Thank you very much. Thank you.